Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, got a mixed bag of solar happening this morning. Lots of clouds, very little sunshine. Still charging the new system though. And what we've got out here charging that system are these new panels here. These are those new nine bus bar per cell, 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels from New Power. And I've got 500 watts of those tied in series. And they are charging. That's the old style panels, five bus bars per cell versus nine. These are supposed to be a little bit more efficient and we shall see. They are working great even in these low light conditions. So let's go in and see how that new Power Queen 51.2 volt lithium iron phosphate battery is charging. And here's what we have those 500 watts of panels tied into. Uh, this is panels in coming into a uh, bat or solar panel isolator switch for a quick shut off if, when I want to go add a panel or two, which I'm going to be doing. I s decided to just start with 500 watts as I start to get used to this system. 48 volts is brand new to me. And we've got that going into the Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller. This is the MPPT15035. <clears throat> and I misspoke on the last video. I was thinking that 600 watts was going to uh, about max this out. That is not correct. I was still uh, thinking old way of 12 volt. So I'm still learning all of the new numbers with the 48 volt system. But... This charge controller will take up to 2000 watts solar. So I'm going to be good with this charge controller for this particular system. Got a little 50 amp breaker here. And this is just a, a table. I've got a lot of this mounted under a table, so I'm in a little cramped space, but got the bus bars here. And I'll move around here in a second and show you, but Got that 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter, 48 volt from Reliable Electric. Uh, I really like their inverters, they work well. And I'll crouch down here and show you how I've got this Power Queen tied up. Now the one thing I don't like what I've got here right now is I wanted to run this, the negative cable uh, under and up like this positive cable but for the length that I'm working with here in the space, uh, when I tried to run it underneath, it was going over that uh, shut off switch on the battery and I didn't like that. I think what I'm gonna do is turn this around to where it faces out, put it on a couple of blocks a few inches above the ground and then run instead of these two foot cables that I'm using now. I've got some three foot and then I can run them underneath the battery and come up and tie it from underneath and it'll make it look a lot nicer and neater. But I'm not 100% sure that this is where I'm going to leave it. So I just wanted to start charging it, uh, which I am doing, albeit very slowly today. It's become much darker since I came in here to start filming this. But I'll show you what it looks like on the on the Victron app and what we've got so far today. But yeah, that's the Power Queen 51.2 volt, 90 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, server rack style that they've just come out with. Very excited, putting a, its first charge on right now. And right here, I'll show you, I've got a 100 amp breaker up there coming off the inverter and I've got a hundred amp breaker right there. Thought about putting a fuse in right there. Uh, some of you mentioned maybe a class T fuse. I may do that. Uh, having a little bit of a problem finding some of those right now. 
I'm still thinking about it, but for right now I'm going to use these breakers. And I think I'm going to go ahead and replace those with those blue C breakers, which are a little bit higher uh, quality than these. But these should be fine for me uh, for right now. And I like the, the ability to be able to disconnect everything real quick. And of course the, the on-off switch on the battery is nice. If there's ever a problem, I can shut the power off at the flip of a switch. So coming to the app, uh, as you can see right now, off that 500 watt string, horrible conditions. It's very, very dark, only 51 watts. Got 83, 80. The voltage is fluctuating quite a bit, but we'll call that 80 volts, 0.6 amp current off the solar. And the battery voltage is reading 53.21 and 0.9 amps and it's in the bulk state so this is the very first charge that it's seen if i go to the history uh, even in these horrible conditions already this morning 420 watt hours of power put into this battery so uh, not great but like i said it's very very dark today so that just gives me a indication of what I'm doing 49 watts it's supposed to stay dark and rainy for a few days so this may take a while to get it up to uh, full absorption um, I'm hoping it doesn't take that long but it looks like it might and one of the things that I did to help myself get used to working with 48 volt system as I went online uh, hand wrote out a a 48 volt state of charge chart for me to have quick reference to. I am so uh, not used to 48 volt state of charge values that I wanted a quick reference that I could just look at the battery monitor which is showing 53.03 volts right now and I could see what is 53 volts you know near 80 percent charge anyway these are the values that i just don't have at the top of my head after living on 12 volt for 30 years and let's see what it says so 53 point 53 volts we'll call that and then the victron charge controller is reading it as 53.21 so just a little bit of difference between the battery monitor and the Victron. Uh, but as we all know, pretty much every device will give a little bit different reading. But yeah, I like being able to just walk in here and I can quickly look at the battery monitor and quickly see about where I'm at. I'm going with the preset 48 volt charging parameters for lithium iron phosphate on this Power Queen for its first run. And if I decide to adjust those values later as I get used to this, I can do that. But <laughs> I was really hoping to be able to show you guys what those panels look like in full sun. And here it is about 12 noon right now. And if, if those clouds moved out and gave me full sun, I'd really love to see that thing up at around 500 watts and see what the voltage would do as well. I mean, there it is. It keeps fluctuating around that. 80 volts but i wanted to see what it was like in full sun but everything's looking real good this is going to take me a little while to get my head around all these various numbers that i'm watching now like i said i'm so used to 12 volts so this is quite a big jump but i'm going to take my time learn this system slowly but surely and here's what i was talking about earlier i mean i'm sitting up at this tabletop right now there's the top of the table i've got all of these underneath a, a table and what i want to do is i want to turn this around to where the front where the battery cables is facing out this way so it would be real quick and easy just to reach down here and flip the switch off instead of crouching down a little bit lower and and reaching over to do it which can be done but I want to do that, and in order to do that, I am going to, I think what I'll do is I'll just cut a, a few 2x4s, the exact width of this, 
and set them on two by fours, give it about a two inch uh, boost above the ground. And then I'll run those three foot cables underneath the battery and up to those terminals. That'll make it look pretty nice. I'm not 100% that sure that this is exactly where I'm going to leave it. So I'm just going to get this battery up to a full charge and then I'm going to plug it in to some appliances and see how it does and hope for some better sunshine days. But I'm really happy with how it all went together. It went together very easily. Everything is working perfectly. Uh, I would just like to see those uh, nine bus bar per cell panels what they're capable of in full sunshine, but I think it's going to be okay. Looking good. I did test that inverter last night. It works just uh, perfectly. It all went together very nicely. So I'd be interested to see what you guys think about, you know, uh, breakers versus maybe a fuse. Might put a fuse there with a, another shutoff switch, actually. But I'll be curious to see what you guys think. Very excited about this Power Queen. Can't wait to get it fully charged. Hopefully that won't take too long. But it's looking like it might be a few days because it is supposed to be dark and wet for a while. So, yeah. That's some pretty, pretty dark stuff up there. Not really doing much on these solar panels today. Been getting darker as the day goes by. And this right here is the new string for that Power Queen battery. This is an old string running a couple of uh, two different 12 volt systems right now. Uh, they're doing well. And I'm not mounting these permanently yet because I'm not quite sure uh, where I'm going to need to adjust them. I might need to tilt the rays this way a little bit, move them a little bit here. I'm waiting until the sun reaches its lowest point of the year, about December 21st, and then that's where I'll start to mount things in a more permanent way. But right now, because I've got a lot of tall trees to get over, and I'm not exactly sure back in here uh, where those panels will work the best, as you can see, that's what I'm contending with. And I think I'm pretty close, but I know with the sun going down, oh, what are we, October, November, December, a couple more months almost before it'll be at its lowest point. I'll probably have to move those a little bit to get the sweet spot for when it's at the lowest point of the year. So I'll keep playing around with it get them dialed in perfectly but like right now uh man if that sun was out those things right now at this time of day they'd be in full sun even at this time of year so looking pretty good i'll keep you guys informed how that battery works i'm gonna put a pretty good load on it when it gets fully charged for its first discharge I'm gonna tie in like two appliances at once and see what happens refrigerator freezer that's kind of what i'm thinking all right, hope you all are having a great day. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Catch you on the next one. Aloha, everybody.